but let's pull it let's have a look oh, you know what it feels pretty heavy oh welcome to another episode Sorry, my uh, attendance has been a little bit spotty, but uh, yeah, with the um, short weeks because of the public holidays um, during Easter, and then also now the girls are on holidays, school holidays, um, finding time a little bit uh, tough to get out for a fish. That's okay, I've come down here to the ski lake though. There we go. Beautiful little spot. So hopefully, I'm gonna throw the nets in, see if I can get a few more yabbies, and uh, might even have a flick, see if I can get a fish or two. But uh, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, so there's the first net. Um, baited up with uh, lamb heart this time. Couldn't find anything else in the freezer, so when I was down at the supermarket last, decided to just buy a pack of three lamb hearts. That should be plenty of bait. All right, there's the end of the rope. Better grab that one. And we'll hoik her out. There we go, beautiful. around that I think stop it from uh, disappearing there we go all right so that's where the first net is just over here I'm gonna walk down that way and I'm gonna toss in the other remaining two nets and as I go I'm gonna flick a few lures around see if we can get a redfin or two be really really nice oh, got a bit of weed on there I think yeah, just a little bit. Alright, so I'll continue on. I'll give the uh, fishing a serious go in just a moment. Let's get these nets in though. Looks like we've got a few cow spectators. <laughs> I think the rain is just about to start. <laughs> that time of the year. Unfortunately, there's quite a lot of rain around. That's all right, push through it. Hopefully get a fish or two. All right, so net number two. And now she goes. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let's get the next net in. All right, so last net. Out she goes. Excellent. Didn't muck one of them up. That's the first in a long time. Rain's finally disappeared. Tell you what, I got a little drenched, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's good. Hello, couchies.
All right, well, I've come down the next morning to uh, check the nets. So fingers crossed we've actually got something. <laughs> See how we go. And empty net. Wondering if it's getting a bit too cold for him in this uh, dam. Oh, we'll check the next net. See how we go. Okay, so net number two. Let's get this one in. Well, we've got what? Two yabbies? And not exactly big yabbies either. Yeah. Oh, well, at least we know there's yabbies in the system. Just empty them out so we can have a quick look. There you go. And as you can see, not exactly massive yabbies, but they're in pretty good condition by the looks. All right, so last net. It all hinges on this. And yet again, an empty net. Yeah, looks like things are getting a bit cold. All right, so what I might do, I might take these nets, go and drop them in the, uh, the big dam where I've been catching most of my yabbies all year. And uh, that way I can just see if they're slowing down as well. That will be interesting. So after not getting much there at the um, ski lake, I decided I uh, might as well come down here to the big dam, throw in the nets, that way I'll be able to see if it's also shutting down here, if it's starting to get too cold. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens anyway. If I do get some, I get some. If I don't, I don't. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, there's all the cows. Been moved over to that paddock. <laughs> Quite a few of them. All right, so I'm just gonna use the same bait as what I used before. There should be plenty of smell still left in it. You can see there's a bit of blood still coming out. All right, so net number one, in we go. All right, I might want to try that one again. Guess who was standing on the rope? Okay, so let's try it again. Number one. There we go. All right, let's go get those other nets in. All right, so net number two, ready to rock. Out she goes. Oh, landed properly at least. Cool. All right, let's get the last net in. There we go, third and final net. Yeah. Good. All right, so I'll leave these nets in again overnight um, just to see how it all goes. I'm hoping that they're still crawling here. If they are still crawling, it does answer a few questions about the ski lake. Um, the only reason why I tried the ski lake is because I've been hearing whispers that there used to be marin in there at one stage, and I was hoping maybe I could pull a few marin while I was uh, getting a few yabbies. But two yabbies, two small yabbies, that's all I got from it. So yeah, be interesting to see if there's more activity in this big dam or not. But time will tell. So we're back down at the main dam, gonna pull the net, see how we go. Um, now, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we've got, well, we've let it blip. It's gonna be interesting. We've had some cold weather uh, over the past week or over a couple of weeks, really. Um, so it might have shut them down a little bit, but uh, there's only one way to find out if that's happened and that's just to pull the nets and see what happens. Let's go. All right, so we're here to check the first net. Normally what I do though, is I usually start down that end and then I work my way up uh, this way. But uh, I'm going to do that one last, because that one always seems to have the most in it. So, yeah, build the excitement up a little bit. All right, so let's pull this one net. Let's see how we go. There's the abbeys in it. 
<laughs> um, yeah, well, there's plenty still crawling by the looks. That's fantastic. Ugh. All right, let me just move it up over here quickly. Got my sorting tray, of course. Look at that. There's a nice size one there. Whoa, look at the claw on that one. Whew. All right, so it definitely looks like we're going to feed a yabbies. Let's empty them out and have a look. Oh, it looks like one of them's uh, eaten one of the other ones. <laughs> So there we go. As you can see, good mixture of sizes. Lots of small ones. This one's unfortunately looks like he's been eaten out. He's no good. Put him back. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take this to the car, sort him out, and we'll go check the next net. But that's pretty cool. There's definitely still yabbies crawling. All right. There we go. Have a look at that one. He's got some nice claws on him. All right. So they're the yabbies that I'm going to put back in again. There's a couple there that you could probably still take if you wanted to, but I'm not going to be greedy. Anyway, some of these look like these little ones here look like they're fresh malted as well. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's release them and we'll check the next net. And off they go. Well, it just goes to show that there are still active yabbies. I'm very surprised though that, uh, yeah, being tell, told the tales of, uh, you know, getting a few marin possibly in the other ski lake there and not even really getting a feed of yabbies out of it. I don't think it's uh, as well stocked as what people reckon it is. Interesting. That's okay, let's pull the next net. And yep, oh, quite a lot of yabbies yet again. This looks like it's going to be probably the best capture I've had uh, on the yabbies. That's awesome. There we go. There's a couple of crackers in there. All right, let's get them out. All right, so there we go. Yet again, another good mixture in size. I saw one in there, it's got some nice claws. That one there, he's pretty good. All right, so I'll go and uh, sort through these ones as well and go release the uh, smaller ones. Back in a moment. All righty, so they're the ones I'm gonna let go. Later guys. Choo, off they go. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's pull the third and final net. Just gonna give this a bit of a rinse quick. There we go. All right. Now, how funny would it be that I've actually done really well on those two nets where this one normally does the best. And then if, if this one turns out to be the worst one, it will be really funny. But let's pull it, let's have a look. Oh, you know what, it feels pretty heavy. Yeah, that's definitely chock full of yabbies. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. All right, well, we can eat well tonight, that's for sure. Beautiful. All right, let's get this open and have a look as well. <laughs> it's definitely the best capture of yabbies I've had all season. And it's late, late in the season. Coming out you get. Oh, look at them. Tell you what, definitely some monsters in there as well. All right, take them back to the car and sort them out. Woo! Chirping about that. All right, so have a look at that one. That one's obviously lost his claw when he was fighting and he's been regrowing it. So one normal size claw and a tiny little thing. <laughs> it's really cool how they can regenerate like that. All right, so they're the ones I'm gonna release. They can go back in. Bye guys. 
All right, so that's pretty cool. We went from what two yabbies overnight in uh, one dam to well, well over a feed in the second dam. I'm very pleased with that. Also, just goes to show that they are hanging on, they're still crawling. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so anyway, the bait still again that was uh, lamb heart that I used. It's the first time I've really used lamb heart in here, and hey, look, paid off. That was really cool. All right, I'll pack up and we'll have to get these boys cooked up. All right, well, there you have it. That's the uh, total that I decided to keep. As you can see, there's some nice yabbies in there. So there we have it, guys. That's the uh, end of the video. Um, very surprised we got so many yabbies. I thought the, the weather would have cooled down too much for them. They would have stopped crawling, but oh, as you can see, got plenty of yabbies. <laughs> it was probably the best session I've had on yabbies the whole summer season. So there you go. I um, hope you like the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.